Ta'ala told us how he made us a place of living, of inhibiting this earth. And he clarified that he made this earth special. And he gave us hints to look around and find out, to appreciate what Allah has done for us on making this earth a place of our living. And in fact, nowadays we realize more that this earth is the suitable place for living. And Allah told us this before in the Quran. And when he said that he made earth a cradle for you, a cradle, a place that is most convenient, most comfortable for you to live on earth and to relax. And in fact, we cannot find another planet that suits us to live so comfortably just like earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned few things that we will share together today. Number one, he said, he filled earth with the tools of living, with the things we need to do uh, for our living. So earth is full of food and water and means of living. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it so. So it is full of means of sustenance, of provisions for us to eat and to drink and to live. So it has air that we breathe. The air that we breathe is on earth, only on earth. And the water that we drink and we use and all the living need is on earth. And it's full of water. Earth is full of water. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala filled it with other treasures. Earth. And Allah filled it with other huh, things that we gradually find out. That no one will consume it once. That every generation will have their share of consuming part of the treasures on earth. So in the past century and the next maybe whatever we have oil and we have similar and maybe other people will find other treasures in the future so they can uh, use. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَأَمَّا مَا يَنْفَعُ النَّاسَ فَيَمْكُثُ فِي الْأَرْضِ What will benefit people will stay on earth. And it is on earth, Ya Rabb. Yes, you're right. And he's always right. Uh, thank you, Allah. We find how beneficial things on earth for us. And the more knowledge we have, and the more discoveries we make, we find amazing facts about earth. We find treasures of water. The more people talk about scarcity of water, uh, the more we discover reserve of water within earth. The more means we find to use water, to use uh, sea water, even to use humidity on earth, you know, on, on the atmosphere. And the more uh, we progress, the more we realize the favors of Allah on making this earth a great place. And when we lift earth, uh, in discoveries outside to the other planets, we find that Earth is the appropriate, the appropriate place. People who live outside of Earth, uh, these astronauts who spend time, they will have to take things from Earth. Uh, they will have to carry everything from Earth for them to live over there. And they cannot survive without this supply. And every few months, people have to take supply to them, right? To the international station, right? People have to take it from Earth. They cannot make it outside. They cannot find it outside. And they cannot survive outside, outside of the, uh, of the station itself. For many reasons. And one of them, they cannot. Huh? They cannot stand what's outside. 
Uh, and this is my next point. The second point is, Earth is protected. Earth is isolated, in a way, from the outside world, right? Although we are part of this uh, universe, but we are uh, well protected. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that. وَجَعَلْنَا السَّمَاءَ سَقْفًا مَحْفُوظًا He's talking to us. After he's mentioning how he did made earth uh, our suitable place, he said, uh, we made you a protective ceiling. السماء is the ceiling, is anything above us. And he's, he's talking about السماء سقفا محفوظا, a protective ceiling for us. And nowadays we realize what it means. Huh? It's only recently we knew about this atmosphere thing, right? That this, we have an atmosphere enclaving, is surrounding Earth, right? Is, uh, Earth is within something called atmosphere, layers of protection, right? So this atmosphere is providing us the protection we need from the outside world, from the things coming, the asteroids and other planets, right? From the rays, the harmful stuff that comes from sun and other places. It's the atmosphere that provides this protection with the will of Allah. That's what Allah is telling us. He made this protective ceiling for us which now we believe it is the atmosphere or the layers of atmosphere, right? There are three of them. At least this is what we found out up to date. That they protect us from these asteroids. There is a lot of asteroids that hit Earth, right? But we don't, we don't see them on Earth because, because they burn while they penetrate the atmosphere. They get burnt. They get destroyed, right? They get destroyed before reaching Earth. Sometimes we receive some, but we receive only blocks of them that are not so harmful. So we realize the favor of Allah. Because this asteroid sometimes may be the size of Earth itself. And if it hits the Earth, it would destroy it. But Allah made this atmosphere protective to us, that it will protect us from these asteroids. It will protect us from these comets that could uh, pass by. It protects us from the harmful rays from the outside. This extra ultraviolet or any other harmful rays, Allah made this protection to us. So Allah subhanahu said, will you the, then be grateful? Huh? Will you be grateful for that? For what Allah gave you? Thank you Allah. Thank you Allah for making all these favors to us. And the more knowledge we receive the more we appreciate that the more we know about the favors of Allah the more we know that Allah subhanahu wa made everything for us Allah then Allah said he made everything on earth for you everything everything not on earth only but he said on earth and even in the heavens for you human so everything for us ya Rab? yes so I can use it yes so I can benefit from it? Yes. But you need knowledge. Huh? Today we have the knowledge to use things that uh, 200 years we didn't have this knowledge, so we didn't use it. Right? Nuclear, huh? Nuclear power, people didn't know how to use it two, three hundred years ago. But today we know how to use nuclear power for making e electricity and making huh, useful things. Right? And harmful things too. Of course, the more knowledge we have, or Allah gives us, or we receive, the more we be able to make use of things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hid for us. It's there like treasure hunts. Have you played the treasure hunts? No, where you look for that treasure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us there's a lot of treasures for you, so don't worry. It's not going to run, uh, run out. The treasures of earth will not run out. And everyone has his share. So, قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ Allah is asking us to keep going in earth. Huh? Huh? Then you will be amazed of what you see of the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described us as Khalifa. 
Huh? And Khalifa here implies two things. Khalifa is generation to follow another generation. Yakhlufu, to follow. Huh? And Khalifa is also a ruler. Like the Khalifa of the Ummah is the ruler. Right? That's what Abu Bakr anhu was called and the Khulafa. Because they were the rulers. So you, you human is the ruler on earth. But you should be a good and just and fair ruler. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he, he, he's talking to us about Dawood, he said, Ya Dawood, O David, we made you a ruler on earth. Khalifa fil ard. So rule with justice. Rule with justice. And these are the people who deserve to rule earth. The people who really deserve to be the rulers on this world is the just and fair and good people. So people who think that the believers should always be humiliated and they should be always subjected to the tyranny huh, of the non-believers or the tyrants, they're mistaken big time. No, this, the rule on earth is for you believers and you need to rule with justice. You need to spread peace and justice on earth and it's your responsibility. Do you think Allah will give this responsibility to non-believers? You are big, making big mistake. Uh, من كان يظن أن لا ينصره الله في الدنيا والآخرة. Hmm? For those who think Allah will not give them support and help in this world and in the hereafter, then look for uh, help from the heavens. Oh, Allah subhanahu wa taala. فليمدد بسبب إلى السماء. Get any help you can from outside. But is there any help from outside? <laughs> uh, you will not find any. You will not find any but from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will not ever. Uh, if you think Allah will not help you, then you are making big, uh, big mistake. And you are ill thinking of Allah. If you think Allah will not help you in this world and the hereafter, oh, you believers, you believe in Allah and you believe he's in control, you better think and believe that Allah will help you establish justice and peace on earth. In summary, this earth that Allah made the place of living for all of us and it will continue to be like that, it's our responsibility to maintain uh, peace and justice on earth. So we, we need to work hard for that. We need to make the enough struggle all the time to reach that and to provide this safety and peace to everyone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us a lot of favors and we need to appreciate it. And all what he wants from us is to acknowledge that and thank him for that. So whenever we see something, we realize something, we use something, we should say thank you Allah. We should say alhamdulillah. Uh, then you will be registered with the thankful. Just simple. When you wake up healthy and okay, alhamdulillah. When you eat something, alhamdulillah. When you drink something, alhamdulillah. When you feel uh, good about something, alhamdulillah. When you see the weather uh, is so okay. Even this cold weather is not compared to the cold that will be in mass at night. Huh? Because in, in mass, in the day, it's too hot. <laughs> and at, the, at night, it's too cold. It's hot and cold that we cannot tolerate. Above 100 degrees and below my uh, 20, 30, 70 minus degrees. We cannot live on mass. And this is only one. And if you go further and further, then we cannot for sure live anywhere but on earth alhamdulillah for doing that so whenever we learn something at school anywhere we encounter something we should always thank allah and say thank you allah and then ask him to guide us more and to open our for us uh, lines of goodness on earth ask him for rizq uh, and rizq is for everything on earth Give us knowledge so we can dig more, so we can discover more. So the more knowledge you, you find, huh, the more success you will 
uh, reach and it's all a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this country safe and peaceful and all the lands. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah give us the right knowledge and guide us to the straight path. Allahumma ameen. Wa salli lahum wa sallim mubarak ala abdika wa rasulika Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.